Hi, Tim Wilhelm here from Kankakee Community College talking today about one of the key competencies involved in performing a proper solar site assessment. Uh, we're going to start dealing with shade analysis and in order to do an accurate shade analysis you have to make sure that your shade analysis tool is oriented not only level but also directly to true south as opposed to magnetic south. This requires correction in what is known as magnetic declination that occurs all the time in the use of a magnetic compass. The problem is, is that true geographic north at that northern tip of the rotating axis of the earth is not aligned all the way around the globe with the magnetic north pole. Magnetic north pole and geographic north pole are in two different locations. And as you move around the planet, the difference between those two becomes more obvious. For a lot of people, this is a little bit difficult to understand, so we're going to do a short, simple demonstration on a globe to give you an illustration of how this change occurs as you move from longitude to longitude. So let's move in and see the globe. Now we we can say So here we have a globe model of the earth and right here under my fingertip there is a crosshair that's marked as the geographic north pole. Now that doesn't change position on the earth because the earth is rotating on an axis that goes north and south right through that point. There is another pole though we refer to which is right there beneath my fingertip which we call the magnetic north. So this magnetic north pole tends to move and wander around and it doesn't stay in the same spot all the time. This is fixed, this moves. Now this does not move rapidly. If it does, I think we might have some problems, but does not move rapidly. So we can every few years remeasure and recalculate what the change is between this relative to this known as our magnetic declination. Fortunately for us, this is done by NOAA, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, and the U.S. Geologic Survey. We have access to data that they create for us as taxpaying U.S. citizens. Uh, so here's what I've done. I've shown right now that a line that comes down right on the western edge of Illinois, right down near St. Louis here, at that point, at this time in the year 2013, the magnetic north pole is pretty well aligned with the geographic north pole. Therefore, we would say this has a declination of zero at this point on the planet. But I want you to see what happens as I jump in my car and I drive to the east. As I jump in my car and I drive to the east, what's going to happen is, is that I'm going to get an angle now developed between where my compass needle is pointing and where the actual North Pole, geographic North Pole of the Earth is. This is what declination is. Now I want you to see something. As I drove to the east, now my compass needle has an error that is rotated counterclockwise from where it should be pointing to find true north. Because it's counterclockwise, we call that a negative declination. To correct that, on our shade analysis tool, we have to rotate the bezel of our shade analysis tool, or you can do this on a magnetic compass. Rotate the bezel of the compass back clockwise by that angle, and that will correct your magnetic declination error. Does the same thing as we go to the west, but it moves it into the opposite direction. So now as I move to the west and I get over here out by California, um, now my error of my magnetic compass is rotated clockwise away from true north, aligned to true north. This is what we call a positive declination. If you're in California, to correct your shade analysis tool, you have to rotate the bezel back counterclockwise to align the bezel of your shade analysis tool or your compass up with the line that goes to true geographic north. Also, I want you to see one more thing. 
as I go south, the angle changes a little bit as I come north. The angle changes too. So you could, if you know where geographic north is and you know where true north is, you can pinch these strings together at any specific location, measure that angle from that point to that point, and that tells you exactly what your declination is. Again, because the magnetic north is clockwise from true north here, that's a positive declination. If I come over here to Montreal, Canada, I am I have my magnetic north pointing in a counterclockwise direction away from true north. This is a negative declination. And we're going to see other ways of also finding true north. Uh, true north, this is one way to do it, is finding magnetic declination. We have at least three other methods to find true north. And where is true south? 180 degrees opposite of true north. Once we find north, flip 180 and there's true south. We'll be back with you. So now that we know what magnetic declination is, we need to correct for it. We've already pointed out that as you go further and further to the east or further and further to the west, at this point in time from right around the Mississippi River, your magnetic declination gets worse and worse as you go. Remember that a negative declination says that magnetic north has rotated counterclockwise from true north. And a positive declination says that magnetic north has rotated clockwise from true north. So we need to correct for that here. Now, what I want you to see on our shade analysis tool is right here on the far end, there's a little white dot. And there is also a protractor degrees measured out across the top. From zero over to minus 30, from zero over to positive 30. These right here are your declination readings for your location. In order to do the magnetic declination correction, remember where we are here in Kankakee, Illinois, we have approximately three degrees of negative declination. That means magnetic north is rotated counterclockwise from true north. So what I want to do to correct for that, I want to rotate clockwise to correct for it. So I'm going to rotate clockwise until the white dot lines up with my negative three degrees. I've now done my clockwise correction. And now, even though my compass is still pointing toward magnetic south, my chart is pointing toward true south. Now, when I do my shade analysis and my energy projections over the course of time, I will have more accurate readings more accurate energy forecasts. So that's how we correct our tool. So now what we're going to do next is we're going to show you a couple other ways of finding true south that don't involve using a magnetic compass and correcting for magnetic declination. Those are a little trickier to work with but uh, they're also very accurate. We'll be back.